What's going on guys, in the works, and welcome to another Battlefield 4 showdown between two assault rifles, the M416 and the Ace-23. Both of these rifles are often said to be the best in the game, so today we're going to find out once and for all who the king of the ARs really is. But in the last episode, we took a look at some hand grenades, and you guys actually decided that you liked the V4 Mini best out of all the frag grenades. It was close, though. A lot of you guys did pick the RGO Impact to take care of campers, but at the end of the day, the V40 Minis were the winner. So if you want to be a part in this week's episode, be sure to vote in the Facebook link at the top of the description. But this week's showdown was chosen by Stryker, and they thought this would be a very balanced showdown because these rifles are often compared to each other. And he's right. Let's take a look at some of the stats here, and you can see there's not a lot of difference. You can see the M416 shoots 750 rounds per minute, whereas the Ace-23 shoots 20 rounds per minute faster at 770. The M416 does have a faster reload, however, at 2.4 seconds empty and 1.85 and 1 in the chamber versus the Ace-23's 3.1 or 2.1 with 1 in the chamber. So, if you want a faster reloading weapon, it looks like the edge does go to the M416. However, you do get the 20 rounds per minute faster on the Ace-23, which in my opinion is not that big of a deal. It's not really going to win you that many more gunfights. That being said, I know people like to have the highest possible fire rate, and since these weapons have very similar base stats, we're going to have to dig a little deeper. But let's head over to the test range and take a look at some of the recoil patterns for these two assault rifles. We'll start with the M416 at 16 meters at fully auto. You can see it's got a sharp upward to the right recoil. Not too hard to control those types of recoils. It's very similar to the Battlefield 3 M16. If you change it to short controlled burst between 5 and 6 rounds, you can see it's still pretty accurate. And if you actually add some recoil compensation there, pulling the opposite direction, you can see at a, a little bit further distance, you can actually get some very, very accurate shots. So it's no surprise that so many people like this assault rifle. Whereas the Ace-23, its cone of fire is a little bit more centered. It does have a slight upward right climb, but it's not as, as dramatic as the M416. A lot of their shots are much more centered with the Ace-23. I personally prefer this type of recoil pattern because it's much easier to compensate for recoil. You can see with a little bit of mouse compensation, the shots are very, very accurate. So in terms of recoil patterns, I give my edge to the Ace-23 just because I find it to be a much more accurate and controllable rifle. But with all the fancy numbers and statistics out of the side, which weapon do I find to be the most practical? Well, I think they're both good in certain situations. I do like that the M416 has a very swift reload. If we learn one thing from Battlefield 3, it's that people like weapons that reload quickly. That was one of the biggest draws to the M16, and that's why a lot of people used it. Because you can burn through ammo very, very quick, especially in the 64-player servers, you know, even 32-player servers where you're running into larger squads, I find it to be very, very advantageous to have a quicker reload, and I cannot emphasize that em enough. I mean, with the five-man squads now, a lot of times you're killing two, three people and you need to reload, but there's a fourth and fifth person right around the corner waiting to kill you. So if you're stuck in the reload, which happens quite a lot, quite often with bullpup weapons and even the Ace-23, since it is a little bit slower, you die. I mean, it's as simple as that. If you can't reload, if you don't have ammo in your magazine, there's not a whole lot you can do. You'll see me switch to my secondary quite a bit when using the Ace-23. That's just the nature of this weapon. That's the one thing that I think holds it back from being the top tier weapon. And I think it's actually a pretty decent way of balancing the weapon. Whereas the M416, you know, it's only got the 750 rounds per minute. It does have a little bit more recoil. I mean, it's not a ton more though. I mean, if you go back and watch that recoil portion over again, you'll see it's not a huge discrepancy. There's not a lot of differences there. But just that slightly more centered cone of fire on the Ace-23, I think makes it much more manageable. That being said, the M416 is kind of the total package. It's got a great reload, it's got a very easy to control recoil, I mean it's very very manageable, and it's got a pretty decent fire rate. 750 is not too shabby, you can usually win a lot of battles with that, so it's a very balanced rifle, whereas I think the Ace-23 in my opinion, is the better rifle. It just doesn't have the balanced stats in terms of like, you know, reload, recoil, and all that at the same time. So I think if you want an all around good rifle that doesn't really do anything particularly well, but it can get you out of some nasty situations with a quicker reload, the M416 is your guy. If you don't really care too much about the slightly longer reload, go with the Ace 23 because I think it's superior in both fire rate and controllability. I think the Ace-23 is probably the best assault rifle in the game. I know a lot of people really like it. But then again, play styles are something that you really have to consider when you're declaring something the best insert blank in the game. 
But I definitely see why so many people use the Ace-23, just because it does have a nice nice cone of fire, which makes it really easy to compensate for recoil. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in, in the Facebook link at the top of the description. Just leave your comment on there, and we'll tally it up and decide which weapon was actually the best. I imagine this is going to be a very close showdown, so if you're on the fence about voting, I highly suggest it, because you might get a little upset if the weapon you weren't wanting to win ends up winning, because, uh, you know, your vote counts. So make sure you don't miss the opportunity to declare which is your favorite assault rifle out of these two, because I know, I know it's going to be tough. I know there's not a lot of differences, but you got to look at some of the small things and decide which one you think suits your playstyle better uh, in this week's Battlefield 4 showdown. But if you missed my past videos, here are the two showdowns that we've done so far. Like I said at the beginning of the video, last episode we did the V4 Minis versus the RGO Impact versus the M67 Frags, and before that we actually did an episode between the. ACWR and the SG553. So check both those out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.